Good morning, everybody, from the coastal plain of Georgia. We are currently heading down to Florida for a nice little long weekend trip. Uh, spend some time snake hunting in new areas in North Florida, along with some of our usual haunts. But we're stopping on our way down in the coastal plain to do some herping this morning, and then we'll finish the drive to Florida this afternoon. But hopefully we'll see plenty of snakes here this morning. I mean, the weather's pretty fantastic. It's overcast, and it's supposed to get pretty warm today. As for now, the sun's not out. It feels great. We're going to do some driving and see if anything's crossing the roads. So we followed a snake track off the road, and right there is the culprit. There's a coach whip up in this tree. I don't know if we're going to be able to catch him, but he is just chilling right there. I'm going to see what I can do. All right, well, he disappeared up the tree, but you can see his track here. That mess up in there is where he went. There's a big snake in the road, but I can't tell what it is. It's a rat snake. Well, that is weird. You don't really see too many rat snakes around here, so that's neat. Go on. Go on. He just wants to beef now. I don't want to beef. I don't... Come on, bro. Look at that rattle. Dude, go up there. Stay out of the road. All right, we're going to keep cruising. Well, that's cool. That is a mole skink. We have not seen many of those on the channel, at least. What a beautiful little skink. Stuff seems to be moving finally, so I want to keep it moving too. And try to connect with as many animals as possible, so we'll just let him scurry off. And hopefully we'll find something else. But nice little northern mole skink is our next find. Not a very common lizard at all. Definitely one of the rare ones we have here in Georgia. And Simus. Hello, little grump. You were too pretty to get run over. Looks like a young female too, maybe even gravid. So it's definitely important she stays out of the road. What a beauty. All right, well, it was a pretty productive stop here this morning. Only a couple hours of cruising, but we have a little bit of a drive to get to Florida and we definitely want to get there in time to cruise this afternoon. So we're going to head south. Well, this is a weird and cool welcome to Florida. It's 92 degrees in the shade right now. And here's just a beautiful gray rat snake, our first snake in Florida for the trip. Just chilling. Look at that. What a good looking snake. That car that just passed me almost plastered him and another truck is coming, so we're gonna get him out of the road, but that is a good looking snake. Very cool. Love these really cool looking gray rats down here. They're so much different from the ones back at home and really even a little bit different from anything we see in Georgia. Some of the ones in Southwest Georgia can look kind of like this, but they really get crazy once you get into North Florida. All right, bud, off you go. <laughs> it is the middle of the day and properly hot out here, so I'm pleasantly surprised about that. No pygmies. I don't see any. There's a shed from something. Oh, there's a red belly. The same red bellied snake. There's no way. There's no way that's the same red belly. I made the genius mistake of leaving my GoPro at home for this trip, so here I am trying to record myself flipping this ridiculous tin. And nobody at the bottom, as usual. So far, I've only found Florida red-bellied snakes in this tin stack, and I'm pretty sure I've only ever found this same Florida red-bellied snake. I think this is the same one we found here before. That is so crazy. Because even at home, we get a lot of recaptures of red-bellies, but they're usually just over the course of a couple of weeks or months. But I've been seeing this snake for, I want to say this is the third year in a row I've seen this snake. That's pretty wild for a little fossorial like this. Look at that guy. Oh, Coach Whip. Oh my goodness, he's beautiful too. Very nice, first snake this piece has produced. Well, that was certainly a cool flip. I don't think we've seen a Coach Whip in this part of Florida on the channel. At least not, not many, maybe one or two, but definitely the first one that I have found under my flip stuff up in this area. So but yeah, that is a very cool find to kind of highlight the day if we don't see anything else. Very different looking from the coach webs back home. 
there are some places in Florida where you'll get the, the transitional coach whips like we have, but uh, a lot of the ones in the state, especially near coastal areas, are going to be this kind of mono color with maybe a little bit of color on the head, but great looking snake and pretty cool flip clip too. So the more I look at this guy, the more transitional he really is. I mean, you have a much darker shade of brown there on the head. And as we go down to the tail, you've got this beautiful braided whip look with the much lighter coloration, but just such a fantastically awesome snake. As always, even here in North Florida where they're pretty dang common, um, this isn't really a place I was expecting to see one, but there are lots of places in this immediate vicinity where they are a very common snake. So there's lots of nice uplands, but just a great looking animal. Perfectly healthy, not in shed, and uh, very different from what we're used to seeing in North Georgia and Central Georgia. So really, really cool. We'll put him back under his board and keep flipping. Got a couple more things to check and then we're gonna road cruise into the night. So we'll see. All right, bud, here you go. Preferably under the board. <laughs> It is growing dark on us, so time to do some night cruising. Let's see if anything's out. Here we have our first snake of the night going off into the grass. It's a little banded water snake. Definitely something we were expecting. They're quite common throughout most of the state of Florida and a lot of South Georgia too, so we'll just get a quick voucher and let him keep crawling. What is this man looking at over there? Oh, he left. <laughs> Anyways, we have uh, not seen anything since the banded water snake, and it's been a couple hours, so we're probably gonna call it a night here. Just saw that owl almost fly into my car trying to land over there and catch something, I guess, or look at something. Um, but yeah, it was a good day. Uh, tonight was a little lackluster, but hopefully things will be going off tomorrow morning after all this rain, so I'll see you guys then. Good morning, everybody. It's very wet still from all the rain yesterday. I'm not sure we're gonna have too much luck first thing this morning. We kind of had a little bit of cloud cover, but it seems like it's already kind of burned off. So I don't really know what to expect, but we're gonna drive dirt roads and see if there's anything out. A Gulf Coast box turtle. Look at that guy. Look at that. He is all scarred up. Probably from fire, but that's a good looking turtle. These guys adapted with fire and uh, as gnarly as it is, that's probably a pretty natural occurrence for these turtles, even without human interference. Very dark, very big box turtles. Much, much different from the ones we find up in Georgia. Very cool way to start the day. All right, out of the road with this guy. He was heading this direction, so I'll just uh, put him right over here. There you go, bud. He's a pretty active box turtle. Wasn't very shy when we uh, walked up to him. Oh, looky there. We have a nice, very, very colorful corn snake. It's our first snake of the day. All right, car coming. We gotta go. Come on. Whoa, easy there, buddy. I just wanted, come on, man. I just wanted to make sure that car didn't hit you. You were mighty pretty. And I'm sorry that you don't like the fact that I'm trying to save your life. What a snake. So one thing about corns that this guy exemplifies pretty well is their bellies can be pretty crazy looking. That's fantastic. Beautiful orange on top, kind of a blood red, and then that classic maze pattern on the bottom. Very, very good looking snake to start off the day. All right, he was headed this way, so here is where we will put him. There you go, dude. Here's another dude. Look at that. He has all the mosquitoes. Look at how blood filled some of these mosquitoes are. My guy, how do you live like this? They're not even messing with me. They're too busy eating him. I haven't even been bit by one. This is a pretty big one. I mean, they definitely get a little bit bigger, but you can see what I mean when I say they're much bigger than a normal eastern box turtle. Oh, I've got the mosquitoes now. Don't give me that box turtle blood. That's gross. I mean, maybe it's not. I don't know, but come on. All right, dude. Stay out of the road. Here's another one. 
This guy's also got a pretty bad mosquito issue. <laughs> Look at that. That is so wild. They just absolutely swarm these things. And they don't show any interest in me until I pick them up. Look at that. Oh, I've got one flying around me now. <laughs> so ridiculous. Get off of me. Stay out of the road. Ah. <laughs> so while we were looking at that last box turtle, another one has crawled onto the road. We definitely found the, uh, the turtles this morning. Fourth box turtle of the morning. After the morning activity kind of winded down, we headed to the coast to get lunch, and then the afternoon thunderstorm started and did not stop. Not much more was seen that day, so I'm going to wrap this episode up here. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.